Welcome back, everybody. I have six different instruments to play for you today. These are percussion instruments. Please say percussion. Percussion. If you are a percussion instrument, it means that you get shaked, hit, jiggled, rattled. That's the way that your instrument gets played. Is a flute a percussion instrument? No, because you don't hit a flute, you don't rattle a flute, you blow into a flute. That's a different kind of instrument. Is a trumpet a percussion instrument? No, because you don't hit it, you don't rattle it, you don't shake it. That's a different kind of instrument. But if you look at my pictures, I have pictures of six percussion instruments, a tambourine, a wood block, rhythm sticks, a hand drum, a triangle, and some jingle bells. I want you to listen to the instrument. I'm not gonna show you which one I played. And I want you to figure out which one you hear. Are you ready? Do you think you figured it out? It's the Jingle Bells. They have that nice metal bell that jingles and jangles. I play this instrument by shaking it. That's why it's a percussion instrument. Let's do another one. Do you think you know which one it is? It's the rhythm sticks. The rhythm sticks are made of wood. They have a wooden clicking sound when I click them together. They're a percussion instrument because they hit together to make their sound. Let's do another one. The triangle. The triangle is made of metal and we hit it with something made of metal. And when you play that metal sound against each other, it rings and vibrates so that it can ring for a long time. If I hold it like this and I don't let it vibrate, then it won't ring and it won't sound pretty. So we suspend it from that little rubber band to play. The triangle. The triangle's made out of metal, and the beater that you play with it is made out of metal. Another one. That's right, the hand drum. Take a look at my hand drum. Just a little drum I hold in my hands. The hand drum is covered with something we call a skin. The top is covered by this covering that we call the skin. And we play it by hitting or tapping or scraping that skin. That's why it's a percussion instrument. Here comes another one. Did that sound like the tambourine or the wood block? You're right, it's the wood block. It makes that nice sound when I hit it with the mallet. The wood block is made out of wood. That makes sense, doesn't it? Here's the last one. Did you already figure it out? The tambourine. Look at those metal little jingle jangles. And when you shake it or hit it, they jingle together. Now our percussion instruments can go in three families. The wood family the metal family, and the skin family. Only one of ours would go in the skin. Which one did I say was covered with skin? We say the hand drum. That one had that nice covering on the top that we call the skin. Which ones do you think would fit into the wood family? Which ones were made of wood? That's right, the rhythm sticks and the wood block would go in the wood family. And which ones had metal to make their sound? 
The tambourine had the metal jingle jangles. The triangle had metal and a metal leader. And the jingle bells were made of metal. They would go in the metal family. This is what you have to do for Seesaw this week. You're going to get back to your Seesaw page, click on the big green button, and then you're going to see pictures of all of these little instruments. And you're going to see these three families, the metal, the wood, and the skin. And I want you to drag the instrument into the correct area. It matters what they're made of, right? That's what we're thinking of. How does this thing make it sound? What is it made of? And that's how you'll know which family it's in. When you're done, press the check mark and send it to me, and then I'll see how you did. Have lots of fun. I'll see you next time.